welcome to Sway Vlogs. My name is So Sway. If you're new to the channel, consider subscribing. I am an American vlogger living now in Spain, documenting my every single day life here, and I make daily videos. And not just vlogs, but I just make all kinds of videos. Anything that comes into my mind, I create it, I give birth to it, and I put it on this channel. And it's for you guys' entertainment and for you guys to enjoy. So consider subscribing. You will not regret it. And today's video is gonna be a little bit different. No cinematic travel vlog, no unboxing, no product review, no nothing. It's been a while since we actually sat down here and just chilled and talked to you guys. At the beginning of my daily vlogs, I would just sit down with you guys sometimes and have coffee and just chit chat and just talk. Today I'm actually having caldo de res right here, it's, uh, vegetable soup. And I, just, I was thinking that, you know, two days from now, today is Thursday here in, in Betanzo, Spain. It would be Saturday in two days. My little boy is turning three years old. Three years old, and it just like hit me like like a ton of bricks. It's like, oh my god, three years old. And then my other little boy is gonna be six in September, and I'm just like, man, where has time gone? Six years, like wow. And it just brought me to my attention, like how sometimes we don't appreciate the small things. We don't appreciate the small moments, the small memories, the small times that we get to spend together as a family, with your loved ones, with your friends, mostly with your loved ones, more than your family, more than just your friends. Even though some friends are like more than, more than friends, your family. But I was just thinking, and that's why I wanted to sit down and ch chit chat with you guys for a little bit. Again, if you, if you want to stay around the video, cool, thank you, we can, we can talk. You can also leave me in the comments what you, what you guys think about today's video. But I was just thinking like, so many times we're worried about Time and time and money and this and that and, and, you know in the U.S. that's one of the things that kind of like I didn't like the last time you know like the, you have to work overtime and make more money and stuff like that and it's just like and, and it was like I wasn't really spending time with my boy who's gonna be, who's gonna be six in September and I was just like like I lost a, a lot of times I lost a lot of things that I didn't get to see because I was working or or, or even in the first year my wife was working so she missed a lot of things on my little boy because she was working it was just like consuming our time and when we moved to Spain we saw that we had way more time to spend as a family and way more time to spend as a couple like my wife and I as well and, and, and it was just like it was just rewarding it was just like wow we, we're actually spending time as a family like we're actually spending time as a couple and, and even though yes we have kids and everything we still manage to spend time together as a couple you know when 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 she was not going to her school in the mornings before uh, we used to go out and together and have coffee together in the mornings you guys saw her saw us in a couple of videos here where we, we were alone together talking we would go on walks, we would go to the park, we would sit together, we would just chill and watch TV. Things that we wouldn't have in the US. We didn't have that time. And now thinking of my boy who's gonna be three and my other boy who's gonna be six, it just brought me to my attention like, time is way more important than money. Yes, you're gonna need money to survive throughout your life and throughout your years that you're here on this earth. But it's like, you can make, it, you can make as much money as you want, but it, it's gonna stay here eventually. But time is not gonna come back to you. See, money you can spend it and you can get it back through working or you can invest it in something and get it back again. But time is not, you, you know, time is never gonna come back to you. It's something that's spent and it's gone. Use it wisely or you're you're done with it. And unless you invest it in something good, which I think invested in on your family, on your loved ones, if you have kids, on your kids, or your on your couple, your significant other, on your parents, etc. That's, that's money, that's, I mean, that's not money, that's time that's gonna come back to you. You know why? Because my wife is telling me, it's sad here in Spain, and I, and I see this in Spain. I see a lot of kids that their parents just leave them in after school activities, and, and then they go take them to grandpa's house, or they go take them to another activity, while they're out and about hanging with friends. And I'm just like, it hit me, because I'm like, why would you leave your kid why would you not spend time with your kid? If you're working, okay, I, I comprend it. You know, my, you know, amigo, I comprend it that you're going through that. But if, if, if you're not, if you're gonna go out and have coffee with your friends and, and you leave your kid somewhere else, it's like you're, you're pushing that time away. You're not investing that time. And in the future, you're gonna regret it. I see a lot of, a lot of kids put their parents in res residence, in, you know, resident home or nursery homes, whatever you call it, you know, or, or they just don't talk to their parents, period. And it's because, not because they, you know, they grew apart because of something that happened. Something that does happen and some, something happens along the way that cuts, you know, cut ties and whatnot. But I think it's, 
if the parent would have invested that time on that kid, the kid would be like, in the future, would be like, I want to invest time on my pops, you know? He's older, he's more wiser, I want to spend time with him and whatnot. That's why I thank my parents, because my parents invested time on us. Yes, my dad worked a lot sometimes, my mom too, but whenever they could spend time with us, they would spend time with us. We, we will be together as a family, we will do things. I have a lot of memories with my parents. I have a lot of memories with my brothers who are probably watching me in this video, and I love so much and I missed. I have so many memories that I can still like vividly like rewind in my head and I'll still laugh like I'll, I'll cry of laughter like I'm trying not to get emotional here because I'm still like remembering but I'll cry of laughter like there was one time and, and I know my brother's gonna hate me for this for saying this on the video but there was one time where we were driving with my brother in the car and, and uh, he had his hand out the window and, uh, and I thought it was funny because he had his head out the window just being all cool and stuff like that. He was probably like, I don't know, maybe like 10, I mean, not 10, probably like 11, 12-ish, something like that. He was just hanging out the window like this, you know, whatever, I'm driving. It's a summer day. We passed by a semi or a truck, you know, a trailer, whatever. A semi here in front of, uh, next to us on the, on the right-hand side. And I like... <laughs> I pull on the thing for the window, like I pull on the little knob for the window because we had automatic windows. Watch out, watch out, automatic windows. We had automatic windows and my brother's head like caught on that, on the window, you know? But at the same time that we were passing by the semi, and I'm like, Jerry! And, he, and the way he does, he like he pulls his arm and he goes, Jerry, my arm, my arm! He's like, I still cry because I think it's hilarious. Like it makes me so happy, like those memories. Because he actually thought that, like, when we passed by the semi, they cut off his arm. And so he was like, judge my arm, right? And I thought it was hilarious. And, like, those memories are still, like, in my head. Man, I, I'm crying now. Oh, God. You guys are making me emotional. Oh, God. So, I just thought it was funny because, like, those memories, I invested time on my brothers. I invested time on my little brother, on Jared and on, on JR. Maybe not a lot of time. Maybe I could have spent more time with I could have been a better brother and stuff, but I spent those quality time with him. I, I will remember, like, my parents didn't know about it, but I will remember I will pull up in one street and then get off and be like, Jay, you drive. You drive us back home. And he would just get the car and drive back home. And it's just like memories like that. It's just like those memories, I know in the future, they're, they're gonna remember that. And, and, and brother, my brother who's watching this probably like, yeah, I remember that part. And a bunch of other parts that I wanna say here that was just fun between us brothers and stuff. And, and, and with my parents too, I have a lot of things with my mom and my brothers and my sister. And it's like, now that I'm older, I look for them. I look for my brother, I look for my sister. I, I look for my, for my mom and for my dad, you know, to call them and say, hey, how's it going? My brothers too sometimes text me on Instagram. Hey, they should get what's up, but they still text me on Instagram. We'll get together on, on you know, on, on PlayStation 4, we'll play together and we just laugh and just have fun. And it's like, now that I see my little boys, I know that in the future, this time that I'm investing in them right now, this time that I'm giving to them right now, instead of spending it with friends and going out and drinking and stuff like that, and I'm, I'm actually spending it with them, in the future, they're gonna, they're gonna be thankful. They're gonna be like, Pops, thank you for spending that time with me. I learned so much from you. I learned so much from my parents. I learned so much from my mom, from my dad. I learned so much from my brothers too. And, you know, through mistakes, through hard times, through obstacles, through things, whatnot, but that time was invested. And that time now, I can I can reap what they sowed on, on me. Is, is that how you say it? You sow and then you reap? I don't know. I, I, you know, I, I can, I can, I'm, I can give back because of that time that I received for them. Same with my little boys. In the future, I know that when I'm old, they're gonna take care of me. I know that when my when when my brothers get old and, and I'm still alive, I'm still gonna take care of them. My parents get old and they can't take care of themselves. I'm gonna be there for them. I'm gonna take care for them. I'm not gonna send them to some nursery home somewhere that you can't, you know, that I, unless it's, it's really hard for me to take care of them. Then maybe, but even that has to cross my head. It's just like I want to spend time with them because they invested time on me. I want to give back to them, and I just think, I, I know this video went on for a long time, but. Looking at that, that my boy's gonna be three and my other boy's gonna be six, I was just like, you know what? Who cares about how much money I make? Who cares about how, how much time I spend at work or how much I get paid? Yes, it's important, but how much time am I spending and investing on my boys and investing on my family and investing on, on, on me and, and, and my people that surround me that are positive? And I just wanna sh chill with you guys and just talk about it. Cause I thought it was, you know, something that maybe you're you're going through. I know in the U.S. sometimes it's hard. You know, in, in life in the U.S. sometimes it's hard because, yes, everything is about money, and, and you have to sometimes work overtime or work more than you have to because you have to make that extra money to survive. But whenever you have that free time, don't waste it on something else that's not important. Invest it on people that you love. Invest it on your family, your friends. You know, I, 
I never got to see my grandpa again after he we moved to Guatemala and he passed away and everything. It was hard for me to 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 you know to receive that in my heart that he passed away. I never got to see him again. But those moments, that time that I got to spend with him, that like those memories that we made together, was just like you know, it just will, it will always be in my heart. Sorry, I got emotional here. <laughs> it will always be in my heart just because, man, dang, seriously. I'm sorry, guys. I know you're probably thinking like, man, I think I just, I just enough for these tears. The water works now, and. But those memories are still vivid in my head. Like I can still remember every single thing I did with my grandpa and my sister and my grandma and stuff. And it's just amazing. And so I'm gonna let you guys know, invest your time in things you are going to enjoy and make it happen. And those memories will last a lifetime. Invest it on your, on your wife, on your kids, on your significant other. And believe me, it doesn't matter. Even if you're investing it on time, like for example, on YouTube. Yeah, okay, I invest the time on YouTube, but I still invest the time on my kids. So again, that's just something I want to chit chat with you guys. Just want to like sit down and have this conversation. We haven't had one of these in a long time. All right, you guys. Thank you for watching. If you liked today's video, just a little chit chat here. Subscribe. Follow me. Tomorrow will be another cool video. Don't worry. I just, you know, I, 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 like I said, anything comes to my head, I make it and I record it and I put it on my channel. You like it? Great. If you don't like it? I'm sorry. I hope you, you hope you give me another chance in the next video that I come up with. Again, hit the subscribe button. I'll see you guys mañana. Peace.